hello welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to create this uh, table this table is just a very simple table which is this one is a uh, using the glass and then this one using three pipes and then probably you will see this one is a hollow if I turn on and, and turn off this um, pipe here there will be a hollow with a certain angle that will hold up the load when we put a hollow in the table here top they will be expand and so this black uh, here I assume they will using the plastic or maybe using the rubber with the quite hard rubber and so they will give the uh, stable position okay let's get started so first of all I'm going to create in the top plane using the circle mm, uh, 500 millimeter and then using the extrude command uh, maybe 20 uh, millimeter thickness and here usually a uh, glass will use the chamfer with I use a two distance and then I can control the uh, bevel here so when I drag it here so probably I just want to give a little uh, buffer bevel sorry here like that so probably this one would be five okay okay and then I will add the fillet here here and here uh, with a two millimeter fillet okay so the top of the glass was already created and then I continue with the new sketch here and then I project okay I project the edges using the construction because I just want to capture the position of those uh, edges and then from here at the top table I create a line go down over there and also in the center line here I also keep the yeah probably this one okay and then I change this line to a construction and then I put the measurement so I want to this table will be uh, 550 I think the overall height of the table will be around 500 so I will use 550 and then I line up this edge uh, point end point here with this end point here and then I put the angle Okay, and this one I use 55 and then in this intersection I will use the point okay over there to measure this position okay maybe 200 okay 250 so make sure that uh, this position the edge of the table is almost as the same as the uh, path of the pipe later on okay so I will use this 250 d10 okay remember this is the uh, parameter d10 did that parameter I will use later on okay so you just create a pipe here I think I use the new body then with the 30 diameter and a hollow with a 2 millimeter thickness okay like that okay have a new body and then uh, I move a little bit this pipe using this move up command I click the body uh, make sure you select the body and then you just click the body here and then the pivot point is it means that the base point of this uh, uh, movement is from the center and then I 
break maybe 25 just I offset this position a bit okay like that then just create the pattern circle pattern with the bodies here this one and then the axis will be the vertical axis using the number of instances is three okay okay so like that so after that I'm, I use this uh, offset plane from the plane here and then I use minus d10 okay d10 is the distance from the previous parameter d10 okay so from here just create a circle maybe 100 diameter okay so and then I extrude the circle with the uh, symmetric probably I will use 50 okay with the new body again no I think 50 is too much uh, 30 okay yeah 30 I think is uh, good enough okay so probably the diameter is uh, need to be a little bit bigger okay 110 yeah I think it's uh, perfect okay so after that this table is almost done uh, but I'm going to create a hole if you see here there is no hole over there so I just use the combine and then select the target body this one and then tool body this one this one and this one and then keep the tool body using cut and if I click OK they will have the hole but unfortunately this one because it's the pipe so the center they will create also the solid in the center so I just remove those solid one two three okay this one so I just remove this one OD5 6 and 7 I right click and then there is a remove over there okay so it's removing okay over there and then at the top I also use this uh, split com split body the splitting tool body to split is the pipe okay and then splitting tool will be the plane here okay as you can see there is a unnecessary body over there and I also want to remove it okay like that okay so at the bottom here also I need to create the one more sketch I use a, just a rectangle here then put the dimension which is represent the height of the height of the uh, table here okay so I use five five hundred half a meter okay and then just click finish sketch and I just cut it using the symmetric and then to all okay cut okay so I think this one is uh, almost done and then we just add the material if you like so I use appearance then probably here probably I will use the bronze color here and then use the paint powder coat okay this one uh, yeah probably you can use like uh, as this one that you like you want to use it so probably I will use this metallic silver okay from here just click and drag and then this one will be a uh, black color over there okay yeah okay 
so if you want to add another fillet here you just can use the a small fillet okay okay yeah it's quick and it's done you can go through to the rendering environment if you like and then try to see what happened when I use the render like this okay so you can use the render to quickly uh, get the result of the visualization very quick okay like this okay okay thank you for watching to this short video and have a nice day uh, bye bye